Okay, I am uh, spraying some white on top of Ecofill here on an elevator. This is white top coat mixed up. Um, I cleaned this elevator with the cleaner from Stewart Systems and then a light wipe off with 91% uh, alcohol and then a final tack and I've just sprayed two fog coats on it and I'm waiting for it to dry enough to spray another fog coat on it getting a little bit of uh, uh, what could be fish iron right there on the edge just looks like the paints gathering together um, this is a test panel we're spraying this has got two fall coats on it too so we're trying to get it up through color saturation okay got the uh, third fall coat on there kind of looks like you know thousand grit sandpaper not really happy yet we don't have full color saturation yet still see the eco fill through it okay so I uh, got this up through tack coat and sprayed one wet coat I thinned the paint a little more with distilled water to get rid of the, I was getting a little orange peel, but got a big mess of fish eye in here going on. It's not the whole thing. It's right there, if you can see that in the video or not. That's the elevator. It's got a decent shine on it, but it kind of looks like, if you can see on the rib stitches, like the paint just ran off the rib stitches. I can see the eco fill through. Now I had pretty good color saturation with the fall coat and I had it pretty well tacked off. It's almost like it washed it off of there. Luckily this is the bottom of the elevator. Now I sprayed a wet coat on my test panel And it came out pretty well, pretty good. Uh, but it's pretty heavy. I had to put it on pretty heavy and I had to thin the paint down. That has two wet coats on it with no fish eyeing. And I believe I'm not getting any fish eyeing because I came up, this is the second time I've sprayed a wet coat or the second time I've sprayed this test panel with a top coat paint. It's reasonably good not quite where I would like it I got a little orange peeling on one side and that's why I went back and thinned the paint a little bit more because the reason we get orange peel is because uh, the paints too thick it's not flowing out so that solved that problem but still got a little bit there so I'm still perplexed even on the side of the elevator here, you can see the way it's not adhering to the side of it. See that? Now I wiped this thing down with cleaner and alcohol to make sure I didn't have any contamination. The only other thing I can think of, Dan, is that I've got the distilled water I'm using. Deer Park distilled water. So I don't know what else to change. Everything else has been thoroughly cleaned in here and I'm trying, uh, you know, as hard as I can to get this uh, problem solved. I need some help with it if I'm gonna use this paint. Thanks. So that's the result there of that top coat on the elevator. See that fish eyeing? Didn't do it everywhere, but I really believe it has to do with getting a solid fog coat on and then 
you know, you're putting it on, so you're covering the, the ecofill, and it is just not agreeing with the ecofill. 